previously. Hey everybody, and I finally finished. Uh, you can kind of see it there. And a few things uh, I want to mention is, number one, I have built this. I will explore it in a minute. I have built the framework, essentially, and put the walls in. I haven't done much more because I want to do everything else on camera. Uh, I also somehow managed to miss calculate by one brick on each of the towers. I fixed the right hand tower but not this left one so I might do that later on or off camera, I don't know. And then I was building the tower and I was trying to think how many people come to live with you and I thought it was 10. I figured I'll look up how many people move in. It turns out since the update there are now 24 so I had to recalculate somewhat and I've built an extended area onto this. It's a little bit modular so it's enough that I can keep adding uh, houses to it as and when I go. So I'll quickly bring up the map, you can see here this is what I've built. may not look anything fantastic but it should do. So if we go through, this area here is the one that is one off on this side, you just go out one more. This is essentially going to be my room, I'll have my bed and stuff down here and then crafting tables and whatnot. This will be where I mainly do my work. Now out here this is going to be like the garden, you put down a layer of grass or something and people can enjoy this. And in here are going to be the rooms. Every time you see one of these little things here, it's where a door is going to be and it's going to separate them into rooms. As you can see, plenty of space and it does need windows and stuff like that to let more light in. But it's basically here, everything you need is here. As you can see, and I've kept the doors up high for when I come swinging in. Uh, something I like to do uh, is put background walls down in a pattern like this so it looks like I've continued the turret thing. It's like a cross section of it. Uh, one thing I had to do of course was dig away most of this freaking mountain in order to fit this in. If that's a bit of mud missing there, if I have some on me I'll put it in but I don't. Blah. Uh, and, ah yes, one final thing before we start getting on with stuff is the fact that when I was excavating the mountain, I thought, you know what, we've got a big puddle under our house. I've drained it, look, I think I'll drain it off and fill it in with mud. And then, as I was filling it in, I noticed something, so I've left a tunnel open here. I'll just drill down. I thought I want to do this on camera, so I'll show you. I actually found, underneath all the water down here, were a couple of chests. Look at that. One of them's ordinary, one of them's, like, really sparkly. So let's, um... Let's see what's inside these, shall we? Now, in this one we have... Blow pipe, pretty poop. Some copper, can't complain, some torches. I'll take some torches. And some money. Fair enough, I'll take that money. And in this one we have... <gasps> Ooh, flippers! Grants the ability to swim, those are quite handy. I will, in fact, put those on right now. Now, when we get into water, we have to continuously try to jump out. That's not going to be an issue, we can swim out. Bit of rope. Uh, some potions, sure, why not? Stack them there. Uh, some night owl potions, <laughs> that doesn't do that much. And some more silver coins. Let's dig these up, right? So, what are these? This is an ordinary chest, I know that. And this is a, a water chest, okay. It looked quite nice, didn't it, that water chest? And so, underneath here, I'm going to fill this in with mud, but not right now. It's going to be a project for later. So we'll fill this back in with some bricks. I didn't bring enough with me to... Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. So what I want to be getting on with first of all is... I don't want monsters spawning in here, it's because I've got no one living here. Once people start moving in, uh, monsters should cease to spawn. One of the things I want to do is move in some people. So first of all, we can move in the guide, wherever he's gone. He's gone for a little walkabout. Fair enough. Uh, to move him in, we need... A luxury item and a surface item, I believe it is. Easiest thing to do is build a table and a chair. So we'll take all that wood out. Oops, no, I've just thrown all my wood on the floor. What the crap? Right, it's up here. That's why. That's why. So, table and chair. I don't actually like the look of the table. So I usually make a crafting table instead. Ooh. Mahogany white bench looks quite nice. Oh yeah, also we need 
doors. Uh, you know, we might as well make some mahogany doors for the inside, maybe. I don't know. Maybe regular. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We need. We need a. Where are the normal tables? <gasps> make a mahogany bed. A glass bed. Wow. Uh, dressers will do as well. Maybe we need to be near the sawmill. A dress will do as a luxury man, but might put a dresser down. Who knows? Benches count. Ah, there's the tables. They don't look nice, do they? Mahogany looks nice. A glass looks nice. A banquet table looks pretty good. Hmm. Well, guide, you kind of suck, so I'm not going to give you anything too fancy. You can just have a dresser and a chair. Where were the chairs? Yeah, right. Ah. Oh. Pick him a stool. Why can't I make it? I'm at the wrong thing. Regular chair. Yeah, sure. Right, that will do. And a door. We need a door. So let's let's bring out that mahogany. You know what? No. Guy jog. No, I, do, I want to have a sense of... Um, everything matching. I don't want to give him a different door to everybody else. Fine, let's do it. Let's craft up a... Dure of mahogany. In fact, let's make a few of these so we can start sticking them down in the rooms. 20. I don't know how many rooms I've got. Hopefully, I don't have too many doors. Right. So, guide, pretty soon, buddy, you're going to be having a, a place to live that's not my little crap shack over there. And hopefully, just having you around will stop the enemies from spawning. Now, the way I'm having it is. All the important people I plan on visiting regularly will be in the tower, whereas people I don't really give a crap about can go and live over here in this modular area. And since I give the least craps about the guide, he can live in the furthest area. That's not nice, it's not nice though. Nice. Not much privacy into the next room, is there? Ah, oh well. Alright, we're sticking down a dresser and a chair. Crap. Chairs go down the way you're facing. There we go. And it's generally good to have a light source, but we've got two torches up. It's not that bright in here. We might have to find something better. Now we can check by pushing X. It says this housing is suitable. So what we're going to do is assign Kyle to this room. If I flag on look, it says Kyle is living in here now. That's pretty good. Right, so let's start sticking some doors down. One there. There. Here. This place is going to look amazing. Right now, there's going to be a butt-ton of doors just hanging around, annoying me because they're in the way. But luckily, I don't really have to keep going to these places, do I? Right, I really think I need more doors. Down to ten, I've only done two floors. Man, this is the last of the modular rooms. As you can see, it's going to be so easy to just stick on more rooms on the top if I end up filling these in. Because I think I have 21 rooms right now. So I need like another three. Which is fine. Which is perfect because I have three doors left. And I was thinking about filling this in as like a big block, but then if I want to go all the way through, then I have to go down and around. And they can just have taller stuff. I want one of these up here, though, maybe. There. And there. Perfect. This is looking pretty good. There's a squirrel on the ground there. You get out of it. Right, I think the first person we're going to have moving in, other than Kyle, is going to be the merchant. He will show up once you have one gold on you. And while I was building this, I killed so many slimes and stuff, I actually amassed a gold coin. I hid it in here though, so he wouldn't come while uh, it was off camera. So I'm going to keep putting this stuff away in my chests very quickly and hopefully the merchant should show up shortly and this is such a freaking mess isn't it and all these chests and stuff will get moved across but not right now oh no there so guide you can't see him in any there anymore he will be holy crap get out of here you scumbags Pick up all this stuff. What was that? It was oh, it was mana. 
Kyle, are you safe? Yeah, you're all the way over there. Okay, good. So, Merchant, I don't think he'll show up in the night time. I think it'll be the daytime. Now, he will very selfishly move himself into, like, any location he feels like, but I can always reassign him later on. That is something, actually. I was looking for sand. I have 377 blocks. I'm going to borrow that. What I'm going to do is come here, and I'm going to make some glass. And then I'm going to use that glass to make some glass backgrounds. Glass walls. I need glass for. How do I make glass? Uh, is there something I'm missing? Uh, push that. Ah, here we go. Glass. Uh, yeah, craft up a bunch of that. 50 will do, because that becomes 4 for each. So we'll end up like 200 of that. Perfect. Some guy at my door. Now, the reason I want some glass walls is purely so... I'll, I'll stick it up in this chest for now so I don't forget. I'll do it later. I could put some windows in it that aren't just, like, holes. Uh, these fancy chests can go in here too. I know this is my chest of things I've cheated in, but... And in case you don't know, cheated in means I took it from my other world. Because there's so much to do. Get out of it. Right, while we wait for the... Merchant to show up. One of the things that's going to be very important to get. In fact, I'm going to borrow. Uh, let's see. I have some grey bricks. I'll use those. Is protection against bosses. Uh, bosses will show up, and probably the first one I'm going to face is the Eye of Cthulhu. And when he shows up, he will attack me. And more often than not, are we attacked within my base? Get out of my way. And when he shows up to fight me, what's going to happen is he's going to kill pretty much everyone in my base in an attempt to get me. Uh, so I need to create an area just for fighting. For when I know the boss is going to show up, I'm going to be like, oh, right, time to go to my little fighting arena where it's going to be safe, where none of my characters are going to die. So where is best to do this, do we think? Yeah, I've got the icy area there. What's to our side here? A desert. That's going to be a bit awkward because we might have birds flying in on us. I could just sort of build it over here where this tree is. Seem like a plan? No, I don't like it. I just don't want to do it over the snow. Because snow biomes have un unique enemies. Uh. I don't want to do it too far away either, though. We will build it. Now, a common thing to do is build it, like, above your base. And at some point, we will need to do that because uh, later on, meteorites will fall and we need, like, a shield of protection. Uh, yeah, let's just build it over on this side. Now, I'm really honestly surprised that in all the time we've been playing this, we haven't had a Blood Moon. I honestly thought we would get a Blood Moon showing up, which is horrendous because for about 10 minutes solid you'll just have zombies attacking you uh, zombies that of course can knock down your doors and get into your base which is why other than the door straight down below if I can get down so you got an iron door here I don't think iron doors protect more than wooden doors other than this door there is no other access into here but once we've got people moved in they shouldn't spawn in that little area there anyway I've got some torches hanging around. Let's pick those up. So a good thing to do, yeah, is get this thing built up, which is what I'm going to do, and make it well lit so you can actually see, you know, when you are fighting along it, what the heck's going on. So where do we want to build this? Uh, a little bit higher than this, I think, is going to be for the best. So if I chuck down this tree, I put a torch so I can see what I'm doing, and then chop down this tree. It's so dark. I will then build up. So you want to just be a bit higher than what we're currently at. 
say about this line and of course we don't want this being in the way so we'll just get rid of all that and then a uh, torch to signify the beginning Though we may of course want to have like a, a two block bit like that that way we can easily grapple to it and it's not going to be an issue. Ah. And so enemies will probably try spawning up here, but as long as we put torches down, it should be an issue. Now the reason you just don't want a slim platform is because you might be doing a lot of running backwards and forwards. Ayif Kafulu especially has like a charge attack that you're going to want to avoid. I can't see a damn thing. Uh, so by running backwards and forwards along this, it should be fine. Uh, let's do... pick that up. Maximum extension. I don't know how many torches we'll need. I don't know, on Minecraft I know it's like every seven blocks you want to put a torch. But on here I don't know, so I'm just gonna extend it out like this. And we're gonna keep going along, this guy's gonna screw me over. Now I've got plenty of blocks, so we want to make it plenty long. Leave me alone, jeez. Ah, oh, I didn't... Ooh, there's a stat there. No, leave me, leave me! Jeez, there's a lot of stuff there. Alright, uh, excuse me. No, I... No, no. Uh, e. Okay, ooh, there's another stat there. Ah, yes, I did remember, I uh, do remember. At some point I said I... I think I found a flying island. It might not be, it might just be that harpies spawn high up. I could have sworn they only spawn around... Ah, that's why I couldn't build. I could have sworn they only... You son of a gun. Spawn around flying islands. So if there is a flying island there, we'll go and investigate because we could get some nice treasure from that. And I believe... Son of a gun! I believe fi flying islands have now changed. No, 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 no. Uh, in how they look and in also what kind of treasure they spawn. Give it a I tried to boomerang. I didn't try to cheat, I promise. I am getting my butt kicked. For my life. Well, there you are. Get away. Leave me alone. I'll take your money. I wonder if they've changed the spawning conditions for the merchant. Because like I said, I could have sworn you only need to have one gold on you. So I didn't like how that looked. Another tree. Now I know what you're thinking, this platform out in the middle of nowhere looks very ugly. And I assure you, it is. But what we can do is, at some point, we can... Uh, come back and make it look nicer. We can give it some like struts so it looks like it's you know, got some support on it. Oops. Get rid of these branches. And it won't look like it's just a flying beam of crap in the sky. Now, if we bring it all the way across to say here, I'd say that would be good and long enough for any future fights. Probably don't even need this, but better safe than sorry and in fact I'm just gonna extend this how did I do the other one? Chick slimes come on get out of it seriously slimes go away my god uh, there was one, uh, one, one two three four five and then a touch on the end I can manage that. Give me your crap. Because we can just go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll cut these off. And then put a torch. My god, I'm out of torches. There. Like so. Fantastic. 